Omajua, Destiny Child. It's a super story. Now you listen to me, Laura. I do not wish to discuss anything with you. No business whatsoever. The children? Don't worry yourself about it. My parents will take good care of them. You're free to visit them whenever you want to, okay? To so check on them from time to time. Do me one last favor, all right? Please do not call me again. Is that clear? Can you imagine that nonsense? What nonsense? A woman comes from nowhere claiming to have a child for my husband. Can you imagine that? Mm. It's a very complex matter. Maybe we should just go over to the chairman's office and discuss this. Because uh, as a boss here, it, it won't look nice. Right? Oh, cut it out. I am the acting chairman here. I discuss wherever I choose to with whoever I choose. Calm down. Calm down. Okay? You care for a drink? No. Now tell me, what do you think is the implication of this new development? It depends. If the child is a minor, no problem. You can decide to ignore her and the mother. Especially with the chief's present condition. You sure you don't want something to drink? child in question is an adult. He's older than my son. What? And he happens to be the sole heir of Adeluba Airlines. The same Adeluba Airlines? The same Adeluba Airlines. The very same. Oh, Rivo, my, oh, my, 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 doesn't really matter. What's important is now that I know now that I can now rest in peace. But how did you get yourself into this wheelchair? It was a long story. You are really so heir to Adeluba Airlines? By the grace of God, sir. You can call me daddy now, son.
Yes, sir. I'm so proud of Olakmuli because he's really managing the, the airline so well. So much so that we hardly feel the absence of my late husband. And, uh, hmm. I wish I could say the same thing about my son, Jesse. But you haven't told us about your wheelchair story, sir, daddy. It is nice to hear someone responsible call me daddy for a change. <laughs> Circumstances and situations conspired to deny you and I the love that we have shared for a long time in this lifetime. But destiny has ordained that we have a child that you and I should be proud of. What's that, dear? Thank you. What's that, dear, me? Thank you for bringing my son back to me. I'm glad. I'm glad that I did it. I cannot rest in peace. It is not over. What's wrong with you, Tassio? Your mind is not here. It's not easy, man. Of course it will be easy. I'm sure Jonathan will find a way of convincing Fumilayo to attend the party. Fumilayo is not the issue. What's it then? You won't believe this. What? A woman came by my house this morning with this dashing young man. And guess what? The guy turned out to be my old man's forgotten son. Forgotten what? My dad and this woman had an affair during his youth service in Akure. And this guy is the product of that affair? My dad didn't know about his existence until this morning. Ooh. How intriguing. And what did he say? I mean, your dad. He accepted him, but not to my mom. She vowed never to accept the existence of any other child and warned my sister and I not to recognize the existence of any other brother. Even after your old man has accepted him? That is my worry. Oh, good news, guys. Fumilayo has agreed to attend your party. I told you. 
There is nothing to worry about. I am very sure of that. I know how you feel about this guy. But what if he decides to show interest in what transpires here? That is not possible because I don't recognize him. But you said that Chief accepted him as... I don't recognize him and that's final! Have the letters been sent to the bank chief executives? Yes. Good. You remember I told you that we'll move this business to greater heights? Yeah. Since Anderson and I spoke at length yesterday, and I can assure you that business opportunities are calling everywhere, I will show Chief that I can run this business in such a way that he has never imagined. What do you say? I say you know what you're doing. Of course, I know what I'm doing. I know what I am doing. You know what you're doing, but what about me? Am I not getting myself trapped in this web? Ah. Oh. Thank you very much, son. It's my pleasure, sir. Ooh, Dad. It's all right, son. Don't worry. You'll get used to it very soon. But, Dad, are you sure you don't want me to take you to another hospital? No, Dr. Remy has been my doctor for many years. Okay, that's very good. Then I guess I will have to seek his opinion about um, involving another specialist in your case. Uh, that would be a good idea, son. All right, sir. Thank you. But what is so secretive about your mother's ailment? <sighs> yeah? This is something we have chosen not to talk about. It is painful knowing fully well that death is fast approaching and there's nothing one can do about it. Cancer? There's nothing we have not done to fight it. But it's a lost battle. The last battle. I'm sorry, son. I'm very sorry. She is a very strong woman. My mother. But she gave up hope when my father passed away. Your department is booze, Imiga. I want enough booze for everybody. Consider it done, man. In fact, some people are going to swim in it tonight. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what's up? Oh, I, um, I hope you've sent out all the IVs. Of course, including to Ngozi and Trisha. What name did you just mention now? Trisha. I want her to be present when you finally reconcile with Fumilayo. Don't you think you need to send your friend to see a psychiatrist? You can say that again. Bring Fumilayo and Trisha together again? Man, you want another golf war. No, no, no. no, no. <laughs> Actually, guys, I was joking. 
I need to pick up this special top I'm designing just for this party. Just for the party? What is worth doing is worth doing well. I think I agree with you, man. You look very happy. I just were. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you so very much. It is God that brought you at this time. Adesua, I understand how you took care of my father. But from tomorrow, we are going to have a trained nurse in this house 24 hours. But why? I can take care of him. It's no bother. I know, but you're still going to be around to work with her. That's all right. Should I serve dinner now? No, Adesua. Don't bother. Uh, my son took me to one of the best restaurants in this town, and uh, we had a nice time. <laughs> I thought you said you were going to the hospital. Yes, of yeah. course we did. You see, he needs, um, I mean, my dad needs things that would lift up his spirit, especially at this point in time. So after his session with the doctor, we, we decided to go for a little outing. So, I just what? Yes, sir. Where is everyone? Um, Tessiro is inside. Jessica is not back. Madame Tui is not back, sir. I told you, didn't I? This is what happens in this house almost every day. Evening, Dad. Stop there, Jessica. Dad, I'm so tired. I just need to rest. Oh, shut up. Are you so blind that you could not recognize your big brother? Big brother? Yes. Hi, Jessica. Evening, Dad. Didn't know you were back. Evening. How are you, Tessiro? See you later, Jessica. And where do you think you are going, Amata Tessiro? I have some important stuff to take care of, Dad. I'll be back shortly. I am afraid you are not stepping out of this house tonight. Me? And who is going to stop me? I am going to stop you from stepping out of this house tonight! You? Stop me from stepping out of this house tonight? Who do you think you are? My son, that's who he is. Nobody is going to stop me from you. I am going tonight. to stop you, young man! Listen, things are no longer the same way it used to be in this house. You push me not so. Please, take it easy. Take what easy, Jessica. Nobody's stopping from going out of your Sit down there. Please, sir. Tell him to allow Tessie Road to go to wherever he's going to. No, this nonsense must come to an end in this house. Get back to your room. But I can't, Dad. I have something important to go to tonight. You heard him, didn't you? No responsible son disobeys his father. Please, Tessie Road. Get yourself together. Mm? You cannot boss me around in my own house. You cannot! And if I do, my dad can never be your dad. I want you to know that. I advise you take it easy with them, please. No. Adesua, I took it easy with them. See where it got me. Huh? 
I know, sir. But children of nowadays, I know there are other ways of getting them to understand. Not this force. Honestly, sir. Can you imagine? These kids, can anyone explain how could they have abandoned their own father? What if I hadn't come? What happens? Nonsense. A life of strife and sorrow. Who does he think he is? You have to take it easy. Take what easy. Does he have the right to stop me from going out? But dad is backing him up. I don't care. Remember what I told you in the morning? Hmm? This guy is coming to the family picture and we must face the facts. The fact is that I must go out tonight. Hello, Emeka. Where are you? Everyone is actually worried you're not here. You know what, Emeka? I'll be on my way. Has some liar come? Go here about 20 minutes. Actually worried you're not here. I count on you and Jonathan to handle things until I get there. Eh? See you. I must go out tonight. Look, Tessiro, I suggest we avoid any problems for now. You don't understand, do you? My friends are out there waiting for me because tonight is the reconciliation party I'm hosting for Fumilayo. I don't care if that guy and I punch each other. All I know is that I am going out tonight. Please don't do anything stupid. Tell me what is reasonable and I will do it as long as I attend this party. Okay. Look, we can get mom to be on our side. And I'm very sure that with the right convincing, she wouldn't mind insisting that dad allows you to go out for a short while. But mom isn't at home. She must be on her way. Best relationship in the world. To the greatest escape in the world. What do you think about that, Jerry? Oh, yes, yes. To the best relationship in the world. Cheers. <laughs> yes. My daughter. Hello, Jessica. Hello, Mom. Hello. Where are you? Anything the matter? Tess, you want to have a fight with. Can you imagine, Mom? I needed to go to attend some special tutorial for my forthcoming exams. Just for a short while. And he said I should not step out of the house. Who said you should not step out of the house? Your daddy? No, Mom. It's that guy that the mother brought here this morning. He's still there? Doing what? Can you imagine, Mom? And dad is even supporting him. This is unbelievable. Nothing is going to stop me from attending my tutorials. Nothing. Of course, son. You'll attend your tutorials, okay? Don't do anything stupid. I'll be back soon, all right? All right, Mom. Is there anything the matter? That intruder of a young man wants to run my home for me. But I will not allow him. What happened? He would not allow my, allow my son to attend his tutorials. Can you imagine that? Why? I don't understand. Why would you do such a thing? I'll see you, Jerry. Just a minute. Daddy, yes. the nurse should be here first thing tomorrow morning. And then you should be in a very good hand. And coupled with um, a hard working Adesu are here. Thank you, sir. I appreciate everything, son. No, Daddy, it is only my responsibility. I know. You know what they say, Nishakiri? A child, especially a well behaved child, is more valuable than the greatest of worlds. Omajua. 
Yes, that is the name. I should have called you, but I respect the love and sacrifice of your mother, my dear son, Olakunle. Good night, Daddy. I'll be here first in tomorrow morning. Thank you, son. I want you to take a very good care of that man, my father. No problem, sir. All right, then. Um, I have to run now because I'm very sure my mother would have been missing me. Okay? I... Thank you, sir. All right, take care of yourself. Yes, sir. Right, bye now. God, I thank you for everything. It's keeping warm. I just may have to. He's gone. Gone? Yes. How do you mean? He's left for his house. Good. Want to come around? No, I had a stressful day. Public stories doesn't last all night. None of your business. Didn't you hear the sound of the horn? Open the gate at once. Hey, yeah. Uh, oh, got a zero. But I'm sorry I cannot open the gate. Is something wrong with you? I said open the gate at once. I cannot open the gate. Oga oh, said he will sack me if I open the gate for you. <laughs> this is incredible. Matthew, open the gate right now or I'll throw you out of this house at once. Please, I don't want any trouble. It is Oga that said I should not open it. My mom, let's see if you're not going to open the gate for her. It's only you, Oga said I should not open the gate for. Ma! Ma! Intruder finally let you out. You won't believe this, Mom. Matthew actually refused to open the gate for me. Matthew, what gave you the confidence to refuse to open the gate for my son? It is Oga that said I should not open the gate for him. Which Oga? The new Oga, madam. There is no new Oga in this house. I want you to pack your things and leave this house first thing tomorrow morning. I must not wake up and meet you here. Uh, uh,
How do I make up with my brothers whom I abandoned on Alero's prodding? Who's to blame? Alero or myself? I blame myself for allowing her to run my life for me. But is it wrong for a man to trust his wife? How do I get to the loop? How do I get to the loop? Is that how you address a husband whom you abandoned since morning in this condition? And is that why you gave that intruder the authority to dictate to my children what goes on in this house? <laughs> A little things have changed in this house now. Yes. I will not tolerate anyone. I repeat, I will not tolerate anyone dictating to me what goes on in my own house. I think you should rather be remorseful that you have failed as a wife and a mother. Hmm. See who is talking. See who is ah! talking. Do you know what you wear when I picked you up and groomed you? Ah. What do you want here? Sorry, madam, but Ogakuni said we should. Shut your bloody mouth and get out! Get out! Idiot! <laughs> uh, why don't you allow the innocent girl be? Eh? After all, she's more useful in the South than yourself and your children. Really? Yes. Yes. We shall see. Did I tell you about how to behave yourself in this house? Yeah. I don't want Madame to be angry with me. What did I tell you? You said I should, I should stop. I should mind my business if I want to keep working in this house, ma. Very good. Have you been minding your business? Madame, I try. I was. I'm, I'm sorry, Madame. I wanted to pack your things and leave this house uh, right away. Uh, Madame, please. <laughs> Madame, please. I don't even. I don't have anywhere to go to. I am not interested. Just <laughs> Leave. Madame, <laughs> Madam, please. Hey, this last time, I will not do it again, I promise. Another chance, please. <laughs> I will not do it again, Madam, please. Mom, what did she do? Look, look, look at this thing. Look at her telling me how to run my home. Look at her. I don't want to see you in this house by the time I return from my room. Madame, for me. I don't, I don't even know where to go to this night. I was only trying to. <laughs> what did you do? It's a simple story. A life of life and sorrow. It's a simple story. <laughs> 
all his fault. Damn! It's all right, Tessiro. I mean, pull yourself together. I blame you guys too. Why did he let her leave? But there was nowhere I could have tied her down here. One hour. That's how long she waited for you and you were nowhere to be found. I told you I was on my way. I specifically told you to occupy her till I come. I did my best, man. But she was angry you were standing her up. How could I stand her up? How could I spend all this money to make all the arrangements and stand her up? Look, Tessiro, you really have to pull yourself together. Pull yourself together, man. I'm sure we can always find a way to explain the true situation of things to her. When? How? Tessiro, Mika and I will handle it. Please, bro. Chill. I'm not ever going to forgive you for this. Never! Thank you, Mother, for making the very best decision of your life. Why did you say so? Because, Mom, if not for that very singular decision, Chief Orisha Jolomi Peters would have been in a very sorry state. We couldn't have gotten to him at a very appropriate time. But what about his wife and children? Well. That's what I intend to find out. But that testy role of a boy is oh, very impossible. But I'll assure you, I'll put him in line. But it is Thank his you, wife that worries me. How could a woman possibly abandon a sick husband for a whole day? Now you see the reason why I said it is the very best decision ever. <laughs> Helping us to save the life of a wonderful man. Wonderful? Yeah, wonderful. Chief Orisha Jolomi. You have to get used to referring to him as dad now. Wow, give me time. You know how difficult it is for me to forget about my dad so soon? I know. Please. I know. Yeah. Hmm. Your dad was one in a million. Mm. The most wonderful man I ever knew. But I also loved your biological father so much. So, mom? The only true love of my life. So tell me, mom, exactly how were you able to find him? I mean, his whereabout. <laughs> ah. It was in a newspaper, son. Yeah. I think you were barely five years old then. Yes. There was this story yeah. of a young enterprising man establishing a state of the art pharmaceutical company. Yeah. And there was this this big photograph of my Jolomi. Oh, oh God. <laughs> if I weren't married to your caring father, I probably would have gone running after him. Really? To tell you the extent of the love I had for him. Wow. Not even caring that he abandoned me and the kid. Yes. Well. Or that he was then married. Well, at least we all know he didn't abandon you now. That was what... I intended to find out. Apart from letting you know the truth about your true father. And also, why he never bothered to contact me again. But, um, you gave me the reasons too, my son. <laughs> you are the best mom in the whole wide world. You have a very good heart. Mm -hmm. Excuse me, Mom. I'll be with you in a chiffy. Yo, 
you're the best. Thank you. I think it's time we take a decisive action. We must not allow that intruder into this house today. Is that clear? Yes, Mom. And I'll personally be around to see to it that he doesn't get anywhere near this house. Are you sure you're not going out today? Of course I will. I have to attend the tutorials that was rescheduled because I was late. No thanks to him. That worries me too, Mom. Who will be around to man the gates and also attend to housekeeping since Adesu and Matthew have been sacked? I'm working on something. I'll get new people employed. Me, why you have to be around to take care of things? Me? <laughs> why not? Why not you? Because I have tutorials. Oh, what to tutorials are you? Please! And I'll make sure that. Excuse uh, me, madam. Yes, Adisa, what is it? Uh, there's a woman outside. What does she want? She says she's a nurse and that uh, Oga's son hired her to come and take care of Oga. Well, tell her she's in the wrong place. We don't need a nurse here. All right, madam. And you, have you cleaned the car properly? Oh, yes, madam. All right, stand by. We'll be leaving soon. Yes, madam. Mom? Mm. Yes? Must we send the nurse away? What nurse? The one hired to take care of dad. I'll get another one employed. Yes. We cannot allow anyone hire a nurse to take care of dad for us. Isn't that dad? Why don't you go and find out what he needs? You come and lock the gates. Adesua, Dad. Where is Adesua? Good morning, Dad. You need something? I want Adesua. But I'm here, Dad. I want Adesua. I am pressed. Tell me what to do. I will do it. You? 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 Uh, you, you, you mean there's nothing important to take you out of this house today? Hey. Uh, look, Dad. I'm here to assist because Adesua has been sacked. Huh? Sacked? Who sacked her? Huh? My mom. This is not possible. Huh? Not possible. Ah, 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 ah. Ooh. What's going to happen now? If only she had taken the wine. If only she had taken the wine. Just a little quantity and that will be all. Delayed action and the symptom will just pass for heart attack.
escape in the world. To the greatest escape in the world. About that, Jim. Oh yes, yes. To the best relationship in the world. Yes. My daughter. Why? Why that phone call at this time? I thought I could get rid of her and blame all the financial impropriety at the company on her. The documents are already in place, waiting to be put in use. I have to initiate the plan B. I have to do something. But what? I must discourage the intruder from coming around my family. He could make things difficult, especially with the situation at the company. Why must it be now of all times that a bastard son has to materialize from nowhere? Why? Good morning, sir. Morning, sir. Morning, Matthew. What is going on here? Madame sacked me for refusing to open the gate for Oga Tessiro to go out last night. She did that? Yes, sir. She said you don't have any right to give any order in this compound. And she asked me to pack my things last night because I was taking care of Oga. If not for Matthew that hid me in the security post, God knows where I would have spent the night. A nurse also came here this morning, but they didn't allow her to enter. I asked her to wait. <laughs> that you would definitely come. Well, she said you know how to reach her because she does not like this kind of embarrassment. You have to do something, Noga. I don't like the way Madame is treating Noga. Is she inside the house now? She left some time ago. Tessiro and Jessica are inside. You guys should come down, okay? You will retain your jobs. Thank you, sir. <laughs> ah, Oga. Madame said they should not open the gate for anybody. Matthew! Sir. This gate will be opened. She would call on phone if she were the one. Isn't that sound irritating? None of my business. I'm not the gate man. But Matthew was sacked because of you. So you should- I said I'm not a gate man. Eh. Excuse me, sir. But I don't think they will open this gate for you. Uh, uh, allow me to climb over and open the gate from the other side. No, Matthew, I wouldn't allow you to risk your life jumping this fence. Is Tessiro and Jessica inside? I didn't see them going out. Maybe they were in the car when Madame was leaving. I didn't see them inside the car. Matthew, we were hiding in that bush when the car left. How would we have seen? Wait, 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 wait. Are you telling me it is only Chief, my dad, that is in this compound? <laughs> that is why I said you should allow me to climb over and then open the door from... Matthew, I am not favorably disposable towards that. You may get injured in the process. Oh God, don't worry. There is no problem. I'm even used to climbing band three. Matthew, be careful, please. Ah. Whoever is there, for goodness sake. Ah. Ah. Thank you, Jessica. 
So you were in that house and you couldn't come to open this gate for me. It wasn't my fault that Matthew was sacked. Excuse me. You don't turn your back on me, woman. I was taking care of my dad when you were disturbing with the horn. If you could please excuse me. Oga, can I go in to see Oga now? Of course. You just got your jobs back. Thank you, sir. Where did I stop? It is our sincere intention to intimate you with. That was where we stopped, ma. Okay, you may go on. You want to sit down? No, madam. It is our sincere intention to intimate you with our desire to open an account with your bank. We hope to discuss modalities. Good morning, ma'am. Good morning. My secretary told me that you said I should see him when I got in. We hope to discuss modalities at such a time that is convenient to both parties. Signed, Mrs. Alero Rishi Jolomi Peters. I want that draft as soon as possible. You have it, ma. Good morning, sir. Good morning. And why are you just coming to the office? Well, I had an appointment with the chairman. You don't keep any appointment without informing me. I did inform you. What was this? Last night. I told you that I would be having a meeting with the chairman of Frontline Shipping Agency concerning oh. the import initiative. Yeah, 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 I just remembered. How did it go? Well, I think I deserve an apology for your aggressive attitude towards me a while ago. <laughs> Sorry. Pressure here and there. How did it go? It was okay. The meeting was successful. The chairman expressed his optimism about us having a good working relationship together. Okay. What happened last night? The intruder left. The intruder had gone before I got home. If I had met him, Jerry, he would have known that the respect given to Pepe is different from that given to sawdust. Mm. But I will advise all the same that um, you tread gently with that guy. It, it could make things difficult for you. I mean, for us, you know? Don't worry, Jerry there. I'm in full control of the situation. For instance, last night, I had to fire the gate man who carried out the order, refusing my son from leaving the compound. You did? Oh, yes, I did. And I will do more. Look, Jerry, I will go to any length to make sure that intruder doesn't have a say or a way in my family. Good. Very good. This is a super story. I am the head of this house. And as long as God keeps me alive, I decide what happens in this family. 
Is that clear? What I said, is it clear? Yes, Dad. Yes, Dad. Good. Now, you, Tessiro, why didn't you open the gate for your big brother? I didn't know he was the one. Do you have to know who is at the gate before you open the gate? In the absence of the gate man that your mother wrongfully fired? I was busy and I... Busy I doing what? Huh? You, you have the boldness to go out last night after you have been instructed not to do so. Had who do you think you are? I had tutorials to... Uh, what tutorials? Huh? What tutorials? Dressed the way you were? It's only your mother that you can fool. Not me. Not me. But starting from today, today, I have decided to give the authority to take decisions in this house to your big brother, Olakunli. Did you hear me? Do you have anything to tell them? Thank you very much, sir. Oh, daddy. You see, guys, when my mother revealed the truth of my true parentage, all I ever wanted was to meet my father and his family. I have not come into this family to cause a chaos whatsoever. But look at you. Young man like you that is supposed to be the light of this family. And that you will be as long as I or luck only remain your big brother. First of all, forget about any plan traveling abroad. You're going to get yourself enrolled in Nigerian University and there you finish your study. I'm gonna have completely plans to study. You don't interrupt me, young man! That is the way dad wants it. And so be it. And you, young lady, I understand you have a first class degree in industrial chemistry. Why wouldn't you want to further your education? Or better still, pick up a job somewhere. Anyway, I am giving you a few days to decide on what exactly you want to do with your life. Daddy. Yes. It is my intention that both of them remain grounded for the next couple of weeks. Whatever you say, son. Whatever you say. Thank you very much, Daddy. See, you guys, I had everything that any child could possibly have. My daddy had so many cars in his compound, but I was never allowed to drive any of these cars until I graduated from London School of Economics. From this moment onward, no more cars and no more going around. And you guys are going to be under a very strict supervision. Do I make myself clear? Do I make myself clear? Dad, that will be all for now. Thank you, son. You. You're welcome, Daddy, anytime. As for your mother, I know how to handle her. Yes, son. Yes, Daddy. Please come with me. We have a lot to talk about.
Bitch.